it's Ashley with At Home with Ashley and it's that time of the year where we're decorating for Christmas. I love it. Um, I was looking through pictures of my Christmas decor last year and I worked so hard on it. I added a lot of very colorful, fun stuff to it. Very proud of it. But one thing that I was like, eh, I need some help is the tree skirt. So there's this one that was on Neiman Marcus. It's no longer even available. It was like a $350 tree skirt but it's rainbow with ribbon and I've always known I can make it so this is the year we're gonna do it. <laughs> so join me. Here are our supplies. Hot glue gun, a lot of glue sticks because I think we're gonna need them. I got 15 rolls of ribbon. I don't think you need <laughs> quite like there's a ton of ribbon in here. I don't think you need quite that much but I'll use these over and over again and then I have felt. I got a yard and a half of felt and all I needed was 54 inches wide, but it came in 72 inches wide. So my tree skirt will be a 54 inch round tree skirt, and you can customize this to be whatever size you want. For the base of the tree skirt, I'm using felt. I just bought it at the craft store. Mine came in 72 inches long, but I needed it to be 54 inches wide since I only have space for a 54 inch round skirt. So I measured the length, I marked it with a pen every few feet, and then I drew a line with my ruler, and then I cut it with my scissors. All right, so I cut this. It's now a 54 inch square, which we need round. So what we're gonna do it's folded in half. We're gonna get the edges touching as close as possible. Um, and then we'll fold it in half again, and that should make it pretty easy um, to get the rounded edges I need. So there's that, there's that. And it's not perfect on the end, but I'm not a perfectionist, so it's okay. So now we just have to cut this cor corner right here and we'll have the tree skirt portion. Okay, this is what I'm gonna try. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna do some string so I can get this arc correctly. I also really think that you could just like eyeball it and do an arch, um, but I'll do it. I'll try to do it the right way, which is to connect string to a pin in the corner and then do it a pen. Let's try it. <laughs> in the corner where the fold is, use a safety pin to connect some string to the felt. Then tie the string to the marker. Have the string cut long enough so that the marker can touch both ends. Use the marker to draw an arc from one corner to another. Then use scissors to cut it out. Okay, so it works really well, my little self-made compass. And I don't care enough about this one, so I'm just gonna like eyeball it and cut it out. Go. That was not even. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so now we have a full circle and we're just gonna have to cut our way up so you can get in and out of the tree skirt. It looks nice though. Let's mark the halfway point. Okay, so that's nice and flat. Getting my pen again. Marking in there, marking in here, and then we'll cut. And you can see when I folded it, it kind of made its own like indentation. There we go. Part of this project where I try not to burn myself with hot glue and I attach the ribbon, but I've got to kind of make it a little bit ruffly. So that'll be fun to figure out. Um, I'm just gonna like roll it back and add some glue. Uh, <laughs> I knew this would take a long time, but now here I am like staring it in the eye and I'm like, what have I done? What have I done? It'll be fine. I need to turn on a movie. As I'm using my hot glue gun to attach the ribbon to the skirt, I'm creating a pleated look with the ribbon and I started with smaller pleats on this first row and then, I mean, this row probably took me <laughs> uh, an hour and 45 minutes, maybe two hours, and so I've decided as I go further along, I'll make bigger pleats. Okay, I've kind of figured out a good method for how to glue this. So you can see there's a little bit of glue and I have one layer of ribbon on felt. So I'm gonna glue another little bit and then I'm gonna fold this over the top of that glue 
So now I have two layers right here. And on top of the second layer, I'm gonna glue again. And then I'm gonna glue a little bit on the felt. I'm gonna fold it over. And this is where we began. So we have one layer, put a little bit of glue on it. You fold it back onto itself. And then you're gonna glue another time on the ribbon and onto the felt. So each section of ribbon, you end up getting three layers deep and that's how you get that nice like pleated ribbon look. And it's pretty quick once you get going. I mean, not super quick, because I feel like I'm gonna be here forever. So you can see these are the bigger pleats and I really like how these look. Each one's about an inch wide. And I started timing myself on this fourth row. That one took an hour and 10 minutes. The fifth row took an hour and five minutes. So each row, it gets faster because there's smaller rows as you go up. Um, and then you just get better at it too. I kept timing myself and on this, the sixth row, I sped up to 45 minutes, which was quite an increase over the last two. I was standing up at my dining room table, so evidently that helped a lot. So hot tip, if you're doing this project, try standing up. So the seventh row took me 36 minutes. I like to time myself with tedious projects like this so I can try to beat my time and also know how long the whole thing's going to take me. At this point, I was wondering if I'd need all the ribbon I bought. So I laid it out and I figured out, yes, I do need all 15 colors. To initially figure out how much ribbon I need, I figured I'm making a 54 inch skirt and you're only doing ribbon on technically like half of it, right? Um, all the colors just go on half and then you repeat the colors on the other half. So 54 divided in half is 22.5 inches. My ribbon is one and a half inches wide. So 22 and a half inches divided by one and a half inches is 15 ribbon colors. So um, my math ended up working out perfectly. I cut some of the middle of the skirt out and I needed to cover up less than 22 inches. Um, but, but since each row of ribbon slightly overlaps the last row, it just worked out fine. So if you change like the width of ribbon you're using or the skirt, you can just follow the math. And I have it written out on my blog post, so that might be easy to, easier to follow. So when you're putting on the different layers of ribbon, make sure you're slightly overlapping the last one because it kind of covers up the top and this will give you a much cleaner look and you won't see the base of the felt of the tree skirt. It's taken so long, like way longer than I would have ever dreamed. I'm really close though. Do you see how pretty it's looking? It looks like a skirt, which is good. So I just gotta add this much more. Okay, we're gonna start the 11th row. <laughs> this project has taken a long time. Um, one thing I've gotten better at is starting it. So what I've been doing is I've been gluing a little piece, like gluing the end of it and then tucking it under. So then you don't see the edge at all. And that looks really clean and nice. Another tip I want to give is to use these longer sticks of hot glue. And the reason why is you have to change them less often. And if you've worked with hot glue, you know that every single time you change it, it just, it, like, it takes a while because, like, it doesn't work as good when it's, like, at the bottom of one. So use the longer ones. And I've used a lot of these. I've used, I think by the end of this, I'll use 48 sticks. So it's quite a bit. I had to go to the craft store just to grab some more hot glue. So if you start this project and you do a 54 inch round skirt like I do, um, get two packs of these. Each pack is probably 24. And then I also want to talk about how long it's taking because it's just, it's really intense. Um, so the very like the very bottom row i didn't actually time but i estimate they took about an hour and a half and of course with time it's gonna go faster like as you get better at it but also um the higher up you go the less space you're covering so that it'll also go faster with that so now the ones i'm at the last one took 25 minutes so i think this row will take about 25 minutes but well, the last one took 25, I think this one will take 20. So I still have four more colors left, so I still have at least an hour of gluing left. But it's going good, and I think it looks really nice. For this project, I'm using the Ryobi hot glue gun. It's my favorite DIY tool. It's so easy to pull out and use, and it's cordless, as you can see. So if you don't have this, I'd add it to your wish list. I want to give some ideas of how you could speed this whole process up if you don't want to do the hot glue method. 
The thing I like about the hot glue method is I feel like anybody can do this if you have a hot glue gun, which most people do. Um, another option is to use your sewing machine and you could gather, um, you know, each ribbon and you could do like the two lines of gathering stitches and then gather them up by hand and then glue the whole thing down or sew the whole thing on. Another option is to use a ruffler foot on your sewing machine. I don't have one of those, but I would love to try it. Um, you could also use a fork to do um, pinch pleating or to pleat it. So you use a fork and you um, use your sewing machine to pleat it. So there's lots of options. I like that this pleat is really flat so that they all lie down really nicely. So that's kind of, I didn't know how to do the fork method. Um, but if you look at, if you look it up on YouTube, there's a lot, there's like some videos you can see it's pretty easy to do. Um, so yeah, there's lots of ways you could do it. I should also have like silicone covers for my fingers so I don't burn them as much. Um, that would make it a little more comfortable. I've also heard people have like a bowl of ice. So if you do um, burn your fingers, you could hurry and put it in and get like instant relief that way. Anyway, there's lots of ways to do this. I'm fine with this slow way I'm doing it. Although I wish this hadn't taken me like 13 hours. Um, but there's some ideas for you. Okay, I have all the ribbon glued on. Doesn't it look amazing? So what I need to do next is cut off the inside of this that like just didn't line up perfectly because the felt can just cut right off. Um, so I'm happy with how that worked out. And you can see on this, I finished by um, gluing these under. And the ones that I didn't don't look as good, but this will be the back of the tree. So I'm not so worried about it, but do this. Be better than me. Budget for at least um, 12 hours. <laughs> 12 hours of gluing and cutting. And then I think that's more than enough. So it is a slow project. And I wasn't super careful with cutting out the middle before. And I think it's fine because now I'm just going with where the ribbon went. Okay, I'm so obsessed with all these colors. Don't they look so good? I'm just appreciating it because it took forever. And I'm also going through and pulling out any extra strings of hot glue because you don't want those to just be sitting on your skirt because they'll look really um, crappy. So go and pull those all off. Okay, you ready to see the final reveal of the tree skirt? Here it is.